What is up guys? I'm coming to you from the edge of the water with the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I really hate this cinematic mode, so let's switch it back to normal. To me, that looks a lot better, but I wanna see what these settings look like out in the water. So I'm actually gonna take this phone out with me, with a case, don't worry, into the ocean, and we're gonna see how well it performs out there. And I think it's really exciting. I have not, I mean, I haven't looked, but I don't know if there's any underwater reviews of this phone's camera. So we're gonna take it out into the ocean to test it out. This isn't a swimming pool. This isn't the backyard. We're out here in the ocean and hopefully see some sea creatures. See what this phone could be like if you wanted to take it on a trip and use it instead of a GoPro or professional camera underwater. Using a phone case gives you a lot of access to take some amazing photos and videos without having to buy a ton of crazy new equipment because your phone actually works so well for photos and videos. That's why I do all my vlogging for my iPhone and this isn't an ad for iPhone or anything, but it's just what's easiest for me and I think it looks great. And so let's get out in the water and we'll see how it goes. My name's Changer Danger and uh, we're not comparing it to anything today, but you can compare it to my old footage and see if you like it better. So actually the first thing that I noticed when I got in the water was that you could really get so close and I don't think that I had even used this feature yet, like dry or anything. And I was just like testing out the camera to look at this shell because I knew that the phone just automatically takes better videos than the GoPro does, but I really couldn't believe how detailed it was with that macro lens that's on that phone. Um, so then this video of Brittany, I tried using cinematic mode. Yeah. I'm testing the cinematic mode. I think I gotta be closer. Oh yeah, whoa. Oh, when you do that, it's very cinematic. It looks so pretty. I, I feel like it didn't look good before. Like it doesn't look good inside, inside basically, because the walls make it weird. But when you're outside, it looks really nice. That's not really working the way you think it is. Yeah, that's better. So something that I didn't expect was that the computer can't handle the files when they're on cinematic mode. So I don't know if it's shooting it in uh, HVIC or whatever it's called, but it just didn't work. Um, so I went back to just shooting normal video, luckily, because if I shot cinematic the whole time, I would have had glitchy videos the whole way. And the way that I used that one was I did a screen recording of the video playing on the screen, and otherwise it just wouldn't work in Premiere Pro. So if you're editing on a Mac, no problem, but for me on PC, it did not work. So really, really cool to test out this camera. And one thing you may be noticing here if you've got a keen eye for it is that it's a lot more blue on the phone and that's always been the case for trying to use the iPhone versus the GoPro is that the blues are a lot harder to edit. For some reason, the, the iPhone just doesn't want to get the colors right. Like you can see here, my skin is so much more red and Britney skin. And then on the phone, it's like so much more blue and it's like a really lossy kind of blue where it's like hard to bring it back even through editing. So I haven't edited the colors in any of these, but like down here you can see she has much closer to real skin tones in the GoPro and then just flat blue on the phone, which uh, is kind of a trade off. Like you, you get some better things with the phone and some worth, worse things. So if colors aren't really what you care about, maybe the phone is better for you. But I mean, look at this shot. Like the colors are just so much better on the GoPro than with the phone. So one case where the phone could be better is like this big fish came up and he was so far away, tiny on the GoPro, but then I was able to zoom in on the phone. However, it didn't use the correct lens. Ended up looking kind of pixely there. I don't know if you could tell. Here, I want to like really test the limits of the macro lens. So I'm like so close, like this shell is practically touching the lens at this point. You can see like the detail on my fingertips and stuff like that. So it's so crazy to get that much detail in here. And then something crazy happened. This monk seal just swam right up to us and you're not allowed to approach them and talk about that in all of my videos where I see them. And so we just sat completely still, but of course busted the cameras out. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute. I have this camera that can zoom in. And so normally the angle would be so wide that he'd be far away like what you see on top uh, in the GoPro view. But then um, on the phone view, I can zoom all the way in because it has that 3X camera and I can really get some detail of him. 
I just wish the colors were a little bit better so he actually looked gray like he is instead of being so blue, but that's okay. And then I turned the phone sideways because I wanted to get some uh, shorts and TikTok uh, up and down video and uh, I'm not going to turn it back sideways so you can just uh, you can just watch it sideways. That's fine with me. Um, you can see he swims down and then I zoom it back out and then there's this giant bait ball that passes through. So it's such a cool shot. Him swimming away with the bait ball coming through. Um, and then, yeah, just all these fish all around us, like such a cool moment at the spot where we normally don't dive either. Like we swam really far away from where we normally go. And then I, I kind of stopped using the GoPro as much because I was like just trying to get enough phone videos to make sure I could put something together. And so I didn't have like a matching clip for these two where it was like a good ring and I was recording with the GoPro, but that's basically what's going on. I'm just pointing the phone at her, nothing crazy. And then I think on this one, I wanted to try like using the 1X camera and then getting a lot closer than normal because there's just so much more detail with the phone versus the GoPro. Like, I don't know what it is, like if it's the bit rate or the way that it does compression or something, but you can see like all the detail in her skin and hair, like so vividly. And then like her, her hair going by and like just everything has so much detail when you're close up with the phone compared to the GoPro. Like, I feel like the GoPro is so good for like big action. And then the phone is like when you're, like up close to something and you want to see like the details of it is that's what's best for so like like this shot with the ring and then her hand going up through it like i just i don't know how i would get that with the gopro but with the phone it looks so beautiful soiled it so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video and liked hearing about me to talk about the phone underwater uh let me know in the comments i'll be sure to make more videos like this uh, once again, I was using the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but yeah, just the newest and best phone. I finally needed an upgrade. Mine was kind of messed up, so decided it was finally time to get a new phone. And I know it didn't just come out, but I'm just not the type of guy to get stuff right when it comes out. So yeah, it was cool to uh, take it out and test it underwater. I don't know what's going on in this video. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. That's all the stuff we saw. Bye.